Imagine standing on a cliff overlooking the open sea. The waves crash gently below, and suddenly, on the horizon, you spot a massive silhouette, a ship nearly the size of a football field, slicing through the water. But here's the twist. There's no smoke, no roar of diesel engines, just a ghostly, silent glide across the waves. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie. It's happening right now, in China. Meet the future of maritime transport. A 127-meter-long, fully electric container ship powered entirely by advanced batteries. Its design is a marvel of engineering, not just in size, but in its ambition. For centuries, shipping has been synonymous with thick plumes of exhaust and oceans darkened by fuel residue. Now imagine that vanishing entirely. A vessel this huge, moving without polluting, is nothing short of revolutionary. And it's not just about going green. This ship represents a leap into a new era where intelligence, sustainability, and power converge on the open sea. It's a glimpse into a world where the oceans, vast, untamed, and vital, can finally breathe. Today, we're going to explore how China's new electric sea giant is rewriting the rules of shipping and why it might change the way we think about global trade forever. Now let's zoom out from this single ship to the bigger picture, our planet. Human industrial activity has skyrocketed over the last century, and with it, greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon dioxide, methane, and other pollutants are trapping heat in the atmosphere, causing global temperatures to rise. The results? More extreme weather, rising seas, and ecosystems pushed to their limits. Most people think of cars, planes, and factories when it comes to emissions, but one often overlooked culprit is shipping. Every day, around 50,000 merchant ships sail across the world's oceans, powered mostly by heavy fuel oil. These ships produce large amounts of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides, polluting the air and damaging marine ecosystems. In fact, global merchant shipping alone accounts for roughly 3% of all carbon dioxide emissions, and this number could rise significantly by 2050 if no major changes are made. Think of it this way. A single large container ship can emit as much carbon dioxide as 50,000 cars in a year. Multiply that by thousands of ships crossing oceans daily, and the impact is enormous. This is why innovations like China's electric container ship aren't just impressive engineering feats. They're urgent solutions to a growing global problem. The world is watching, and the clock is ticking. Let's focus on China, often called the world's factory. With its massive industrial base, China produces everything from electronics to steel, keeping global supply chains running. But there's a trade-off. Such enormous production comes with equally enormous energy consumption. In 2023, China's carbon emissions reached a staggering 12.6 billion tons, which is about 33% of the world's total emissions. That means one out of every three tons of carbon dioxide released globally comes from China. The challenge is huge. On one hand, China needs to maintain economic growth, jobs, and industrial output. On the other, the environmental impact is becoming impossible to ignore. Rising sea levels, air pollution, and global climate pressure put China at the center of a balancing act, how to keep its industries thriving while also reducing emissions. This dilemma makes the new electric container ship even more significant. It's not just a technological achievement. It's a strategic move that shows China is serious about reducing industrial emissions and leading the green energy revolution. If successful, this ship won't just sail silently across the oceans. It could also signal a new path for other industries struggling with the carbon problem. China isn't just talking about cutting emissions. It's taking action. Over the past decade, the country has heavily invested in renewable energy, including wind, solar, and hydropower, and it's transforming how energy is generated and used. In cities across China, you'll see vast solar farms glinting in the sun and massive wind turbines spinning across plains and mountains. These aren't just domestic projects. China is exporting renewable energy technology to countries around the world, helping global efforts toward carbon neutrality. On land, China has embraced electric vehicles at a scale no other country has matched. Millions of electric vehicles now roam Chinese streets, reducing pollution and proving that large-scale adoption of clean energy is possible. This experience is now being applied to the seas. The same innovation, driving electric cars and renewable energy grids, is being used to power massive container ships. By pioneering renewable energy both on land and at sea, China is positioning itself as a global leader in new energy technologies. 
This ship isn't an isolated experiment. It's the next logical step in a national strategy to show that large-scale industry and environmental responsibility can coexist. The stage is set for a revolution in shipping, and it starts with electricity. Shipping might seem like an obvious place to use electric power. After all, ships travel on water, not land. But the reality is far more complicated. Most long-distance maritime vessels rely on heavy fuel oil, which is, honestly, one of the dirtiest energy sources around, producing huge amounts of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and carbon dioxide. Unlike cars, ships carry enormous loads across vast oceans for weeks at a time, making traditional batteries, well, just insufficient for those long voyages. Electrifying a cargo ship is much harder than electrifying a car or a truck. A Tesla can recharge overnight at home, but a container ship carrying 10,000 tons of cargo across thousands of kilometers can't simply plug into a wall. The energy demands are immense, and frankly, the technology to store and deliver that energy reliably has only recently reached the point where it might be feasible. This makes shipping one of the last frontiers in the fight against carbon emissions. While land transportation is rapidly adopting electric and hybrid technologies, the seas remain dominated by fossil fuels. That's why China's move to build a fully electric long-distance container ship isn't just impressive, it's groundbreaking. It's tackling one of the toughest challenges in the fight for global carbon neutrality. China has been experimenting with cleaner ships for years, but most were limited in size or range. Early efforts included short-distance electric transport vessels, methanol-powered ships, and dual-fuel container ships. These were important stepping stones, proving that alternative fuels could work, but none were ready for the demands of long-distance, heavy cargo shipping. Everything changed this year. China announced a $270 million investment to build the world's largest 10,000-ton electric container ship. This isn't just a slightly bigger green ship. It's a full-scale, high-end vessel designed for real-world shipping, capable of carrying hundreds of containers over long distances while producing zero emissions. This milestone signals a new era. It's the moment when experimental green shipping moves from laboratory-style projects to industrial-scale solutions that can actually compete with traditional diesel-powered fleets. For the first time, electrification isn't just a concept. It's a tangible revolution on the oceans. The scale of China's new electric container ship is truly staggering. At 127.85 meters long, nearly the size of a standard football field, and 10.5 meters deep, this vessel is designed to handle the heavy demands of international shipping. Its twin propeller system allows it to reach a maximum speed of 11.5 knots, which may not sound fast compared to cruise ships. But for a fully loaded cargo vessel of this size, it's a remarkable engineering achievement. Every aspect of its design focuses on balancing size, stability, and efficiency, ensuring it can safely navigate the open seas while carrying massive amounts of cargo. What sets this ship apart from traditional container vessels is its power source. Instead of burning fossil fuels, it relies on 10 replaceable marine container batteries, totaling 1,900 kilowatt hours of energy, the largest marine lithium batteries in the world. These batteries can be swapped out quickly, solving one of the biggest challenges of electric shipping, downtime. Traditional electric ships are limited by how long they can operate before needing a recharge, but this modular battery system allows the ship to maintain continuous operation, making long-distance heavy-duty shipping feasible for the first time. The batteries themselves are a marvel of modern technology. They are lithium iron phosphate cells, known for high safety, long lifespan, and balanced performance, ideal for large-scale marine applications. By integrating this battery system with the ship's intelligent energy management, China has effectively redefined what electric propulsion can do for the maritime industry. This combination of size, power, and innovative battery technology makes the ship not only an engineering feat, but also a symbol of the future of sustainable shipping. This electric container ship isn't just large and powerful, it's a game changer for environmental protection. Unlike traditional vessels that burn heavy fuel oil and emit clouds of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides, this ship produces zero emissions during operation. When docked, it can connect to high-voltage shore power, drawing electricity directly from the grid or use its swappable container batteries to keep running without emitting any pollutants. This significantly reduces its ecological footprint. 
protecting both marine life and the air quality in coastal regions. The ship also integrates solar power through a photovoltaic system, which continuously provides supplementary energy during its voyages. Imagine, for a moment, hundreds of solar panels on the deck capturing sunlight, turning it into electricity that powers the engines and onboard systems. Combined with the modular battery system, this makes the vessel almost entirely self-sufficient and highlights how renewable energy can be applied even in large-scale industrial operations like shipping. The environmental implications are enormous. Every voyage that would have previously produced thick exhaust now glides silently, leaving clean seas and cleaner air behind. For the first time, it's possible to imagine major shipping routes operating without polluting oceans or coastal cities. This ship isn't just a technological milestone. It's a tangible step toward a sustainable global shipping industry, showing the world that zero emission maritime transport is no longer science fiction. Beyond size and environmental impact, this electric container ship is also incredibly smart. It's equipped with an integrated intelligent platform, allowing it to navigate autonomously while monitoring all aspects of its operation in real time. Advanced sensors provide all-weather visual perception, mapping the surrounding sea, detecting obstacles, and even identifying smaller vessels or floating debris that could cause accidents. This level of situational awareness greatly reduces the risk of collisions and ensures safer journeys across the often unpredictable oceans. The ship's intelligence doesn't stop at detection. Its systems can handle autonomous route planning, selecting the most efficient path based on weather conditions, ocean currents, and energy consumption. Operators can switch between manual and unmanned modes, giving flexibility for complex maneuvers while still maintaining the benefits of automation. This isn't just convenience, it's a revolution in operational efficiency, cutting down on fuel waste, or in this case, electricity usage, and reducing turnaround times in ports. For shipping companies, safety and efficiency are paramount. By combining zero emission technology with cutting edge AI navigation, China has created a vessel that can operate smarter, cleaner, and more reliably than conventional ships. This level of intelligence positions the ship at the forefront of maritime innovation, showing how the future of shipping will not only be green, but also highly automated and safe, reshaping the standards for global shipping fleets. The journey from concept to reality is already underway, and the timeline is ambitious. Construction of the first two ultra-large electric container ships officially began in March 2025, with the hulls being assembled and key systems installed. By July 2025, both vessels are expected to be launched into the water for final outfitting and testing, a critical phase where every system, from propulsion to battery management and intelligent navigation, is carefully calibrated. The first ship is slated to enter operational service in January 2026, marking a historic moment for China's shipping industry. This isn't just about one vessel. It represents the start of the electrification of China's coastal container fleet, which has long relied on diesel-powered ships. With zero-emission technology now moving into active service, the project sets a clear precedent for other shipping companies to follow. These milestones are more than dates on a calendar. They signal a paradigm shift. Each successful launch and deployment demonstrates that electric, intelligent, and zero-emission ships are not theoretical experiments but viable, large-scale solutions. As these ships begin operations, they will transform shipping practices, environmental standards, and the global perception of what's possible on the open seas, paving the way for a cleaner, smarter maritime future. The implications of China's electric container ship go far beyond its own ports. Today, there are over 7,000 container ships operating worldwide, with 6,260 dedicated container vessels and thousands more multi-purpose ships collectively carrying more than 361 million deadweight tons of cargo. Yet, less than 1% of China's fleet is electric, far below the global average. This highlights enormous untapped market potential, both domestically and internationally, for zero-emission vessels. Global trade is only growing. According to the World Trade Organization, seaborne trade is expected to reach over 12.8 billion tons by 2025, up from 12.6 billion tons in 2024. As demand rises, the pressure to adopt cleaner, more efficient ships will increase. China's electric container ship could serve as a model for other countries and shipping companies, proving that large-scale electric shipping is feasible, reliable, and economically viable in the long term. 
This could reshape global supply chains. Imagine ports filled with silent, zero-emission vessels, cutting pollution in coastal cities and oceans while maintaining trade volumes. As other nations take note, the adoption of electric shipping could accelerate, driving the growth of a new green maritime economy. China's pioneering role positions it as a potential leader in what may become one of the most transformative sectors of global logistics. Despite its promise, the path to widespread adoption of electric container ships is not without hurdles. The battery system alone is extremely expensive. A full set of containerized marine batteries costs around $530,000. And while the warranty typically covers eight years, the service life of a ship is about 30 years. This means batteries may need to be replaced three to four times during the ship's life cycle, making the initial investment for electric ships one to two times higher than comparable diesel-powered vessels. Another challenge comes from alternative zero-carbon fuels, especially methanol. Many global shipping companies, including CMA, CGM, and Maersk, are already adopting methanol-fueled ships, and there are over 200 methanol ship orders worldwide. Methanol offers an established infrastructure, long-range, and proven operational efficiency, making it strong competition for electric ships. This means China's electric vessels will have to prove their cost-effectiveness and reliability to gain wider adoption. These challenges don't make electric shipping impossible. Far from it. They simply illustrate the complex realities of transforming a massive, fossil fuel-dependent industry. High costs and technological competition make this a high-stakes race. But if China's electric container ships succeed, they could set new global standards, accelerate zero-emission shipping, and push other nations to follow, ultimately reshaping the future of maritime trade. China's electric container ship represents more than just a technological milestone. It's a vision for the future of global shipping. For decades, the oceans have been a silent victim of industrialization, with clouds of smoke trailing behind massive vessels, harming marine life and polluting coastal communities. Now, for the first time, we can imagine fleets of colossal ships gliding across the seas in complete silence, powered by renewable energy and advanced batteries, leaving nothing but clean water and air in their wake. The combination of zero emissions, intelligent navigation, and cutting-edge battery technology sets a new benchmark. These ships are not only environmentally friendly, but also smarter, safer, and more efficient than traditional vessels. As more of these electric ships are deployed, they have the potential to reshape global supply chains, reduce shipping costs in the long term, and accelerate the world's transition toward carbon neutrality. It's a vivid example of how technology, when paired with vision and investment, can solve some of the toughest challenges humanity faces. For viewers, this is more than news. It's a call to witness history in the making. China's efforts today could inspire the next generation of engineers, innovators, and policymakers to rethink how we move goods, energy, and people across the globe. If you want to keep up with this revolutionary journey, see the latest updates, and explore how green technology is transforming the world, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. The future of shipping is arriving, and it's electric, intelligent, and zero emission. Don't miss it.